radiant and beautiful friends and astrology soulmates. It's me, Stormy Grace, and here is the weekly horoscope for the week of March 30th. This is the last week in, in March. We're going to head into the energy of April. We're officially in springtime. We've had this Aries new moon. There's a lot of good stuff that I think has come up to the table, but we also still have things to take care of this week and a lot of us are doing it in a much more indoor fashion. So how do we use this? How does this change the way that the energies may manifest? I'd like to touch a little bit on that this week. So not only do we have Mars on the move this week, Venus is going to be on the move moving into the energy of Gemini. We've got a conjunction happening at the beginning of the week. We've got a trine happening in the middle of the week. And then we've got another conjunction happening at the end of the week that all look to serve us. But they'll definitely move us and impact us a little bit differently, especially if you're doing a lot of the quarantine kind of living that maybe many people are doing, okay? So let's talk about that. Right at the beginning of the week, we see Mars moving into the energy of Aquarius. So he's moving out of this exalted energy of Capricorn where we've been getting many things done. He's been working and happy over there and doing, living his best life, right? Now Mars is just in a state that's called Peregrine in the energy of Aquarius. So he's pretty comfortable over here. But what happens when Mars, the energy of action and movement and physically let's do things, right? It's a very hot energy. When this moves into the energy of Aquarius, who is traditionally ruled by Uranian energy and Saturn energy, when these guys get together, what happens is we start to take things in a radically new direction. We start to radically start to move ourselves in a different direction. We've had this Aries new moon. We're like, yes, I'm ready to do things. Or maybe you were trying to do something and you're having to change the way that you're actually getting it done, right? So it's very much so an energy while Mars is here where it's like, yes, I'm ready to do it and I'm ready to go forward. But what happens is that by the time we get to the 1st of April, we see Mars and Saturn coming into conjunction with each other there in the energy of Aquarius. So what happens is you're trying to push something forward. You're trying to do something and it's being halted. It's being blocked. Now it's temporary, but it's going to last about a week this week. Now, typically my experience with this Mars-Saturn conjunction is that as these two are shaping their orbit, about a week before they actually hit their conjunction, they start to show up in our lives. We start to feel blocked. We start to feel like maybe things are slowing down. Maybe it even may manifests where a physical person shows up in your world and stops you from moving something forward the way that you planned. So this could definitely be something that you've already experienced. Now the intensity will step up a little bit and the forward progress will be blocked for this week. So what do you do? Don't push and push and push and push because the more energy you put into the push, it's like it comes back at you three times as hard, right? And that's sometimes difficult when we get Saturn involved, even in the energy of Aquarius. But again, it will subside, you guys, by the end of the week, okay? Now, Venus is going to move into the very social energy of Gemini on Friday the 3rd, okay? Now, when Venus moves into the energy of Gemini, she's social, right? We've got something to say about a little bit of everything. We're thinking about relationships. We're having conversations about money. We're networking differently to the areas of your Gemini chart, Venus is also bringing a harmony to this area. She's trying to restore balance, make something beautiful here, beautiful conversations, beautiful social contacts, beautiful writing, journaling, right? But the other thing that happens is that while Venus moves into this Gemini energy to start her tour here and help us, she's also going to retrograde here. So Venus is going to be in this particular energy much longer than she normally is. And it's a social sign that with Venus here, you maybe are feeling like, I want to invest. What do I invest in? I want to put my, my time and my energy into something. And now you maybe are getting that same extended feeling of, maybe I should be putting more time and energy into committing something. The challenge is, in a Gemini energy, there's just so many ideas of which thing that I do, should I do. I feel like I'm called towards something, but which thing do I, do I take on? So Gemini 
light energy finds it a little bit harder to commit to one specific idea and settle into that, and that's okay. That's okay. Explore your ideas right now. As we continue to travel and we get to April 4th, we're going to see Venus and Saturn come into a trine with one another. Now remember, this is helpful because it gets the grounding energy of Saturn. So what happens is this is the time here in April. April 4th is your day. Mark that on your calendar. This is the day where if you want to commit to something long term, now remember about a week before, you probably got the information, you started forming these ideas, things started to come into your world and offered you an opportunity to learn, converse, invest in them. You come in and you're like, yes, I think I want to move this forward. The energy blocks you for a minute to say, hold on, that's we're not going to do that yet. Rethink about that. But then we get here on the fourth and some of those ideas you can start to make your commitments to now. You can invest this trine, this pocket of opportunity is your brilliant opportunity to use that Saturn energy to say, okay, wait. This is grounded. This is serious. This is going to help me become me. This is going to help me do what I need to do so that as I go forward, I can give this to the world. We are in quarantine in many places. Where are you needing to shape and reshape who you are and what you do so that when we are released from quarantine, you can take that out in the world. Is this a time in your homes, my friend, where you've got to be a bit more tech savvy? We could be looking at things like that. You could be learning these things. Use your cocooning time very wisely. Fill yourself, fill your soul, fill your mind with things that will help you advance as we leave this. But know that the fourth is a beautiful day to be able to do that. Not only that, what I will also tell you is you don't have to take on something new. You don't have to move your money to someplace new. You don't have to make these financial or relationship investments in something brand new. You can stick with what is there and continue to learn and grow that, okay? So I just want to give you that so you're not like, oh, I need to upturn my entire life. That is not the case at all. Now, on Saturday, we've got this Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. It is the first of the three that we're going to have this year. It's very exciting. Please check out my video on the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction so you can get really in depth with that and see how that's going to work in your world. But ultimately, it's a delicious energy because it's a major alignment. And it is that energy where like things come together and you're driven, you're passionate. The setbacks that you felt like you were experiencing all week long, they start to lift out of the way. And on a large scale, on a large scale, think very big with this energy, my friends. You are going to take something that you're doing and now you'll be able to achieve with it. What did you decide to study? What did you decide to begin this week? What have you been pushing for and you got some clarity and now you can move this to a larger scale? Remember though, this is only the first of three that we're going to get this year. So make progress today. Take that desire forward. Um, make something really big happen for for yourself. Now, the only thing I will caution you with this week is at the beginning of the week, when we see that Mars-Saturn conjunction, it can be a tough energy. And sometimes it's like, where do I push? Where do I hold? Where do I stand my own? Do not take the low road right? If you don't need that extra money on the loan, do not take it because that will come back. If you don't need whatever, don't take the resentful action to the best of your ability. If somebody takes a resentful action against you, step back because the energy of warring, whoever starts the war, whoever engages that warring kind of energy here, usually is not the victor on the other side of it. So kind of keep that in mind as well as you move and groove and shuck and jive through this world. The last time we had a Jupiter-Pluto conjunction like this, you know, think 13 years ago right? Like you got an opportunity to launch something forward. And now you've got an opportunity to think big, think outside of your comfort zone and move yourself forward. So I think it's going to be an absolutely beautiful week. I hope that you are joining us as we do the Soul Purpose course again with astrologyhub.com. Nadia Shaw, myself, Tammy Brunk are going to be over there. Donna Woodwell will be there. So, you know, just come and join if you're feeling stuck, but you're also feeling called and you want to learn. 
This is it. Stuff yourself with the knowledge and the information that's going to help you advance forward, free you, help you use this time just beautifully to advance you and your world and thus all of us around you. All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you to a million pieces. And I look forward to seeing you in the next videos and in the April videos coming out here just shortly. Bye, everyone.